Hello everyone, in this video, we would like to explain about the micropropagation of pineapple. This video will be explained by us, Ashraf Hadi, Azanim Shafika, Amira Natasha, and also Muhammad Shafiq. Micropropagation, also known as a tissue culture, is a practice of producing a whole plant from small section of plants such as a shoot tip, the node, marriage stem, or seed. In a pineapple micropropagation, the whole plant can be regenerated from their crown, sleep, retunes, and the suckers in a suitable culture medium under control environment. Micropropagation of pineapple is important for rapid and large-scale clonal multiplication for the fruit. It has many advantages over conventional vegetative production. For example, this technique could allow for an efficient and a rapid multiplication of the pineapple, disease elimination, and also enhanced improvement of the crop. Pineapple is one of the most important tropical fruit in the world after banana and mango. Over years, pineapple exhibits an increasing demand worldwide for its nutritious content. Research also show that the global trade for the pineapple is around 50% as fresh fruit, 30% as a canned product and 20% as juice concentrate. Pineapple is plant for culture, crown, leaf, slips, and sucker or buds. Slip, it arises from the stalk below the fruit, while sucker, it arises from the leaf at seal of leaf. But must not be open at the time collection due to high microbial load on the explant. Sterilization of explant. Explant the crown, leaf, slip and sucker and wash by water to remove dust and dry matters. Then transfer to chamber for incubation. But before that, wash with sterile dusty water. Pineapple explant were immersed with sodium hydrochloride or mercury chloride for 20 minutes and rinse 3 times with st sterile dusty water. Final step is initiated on a pineapple culture medium. Lamina air flow or flow chamber provide a work area with aseptic or sterile condition for the tissue culture. Culture medium is a proper mixture of the nutrients, organic and inorganic vitamins, sugar, mineral and plant hormone, especially cytokinin and auxin for shoot and root initiation. MS basal medium is used in each media free plant growth regulator and supplement with 30 mg per liter sucrose, vitamin 100 mg per mole inotisol, 4.5 mg per liter blood agar medium, 0.75 mg per liter naphthalene acetic acid and adjusted to pH 5.8 and also autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius for 50 minutes. Culture medium may be solid or liquid. Generally, liquid medium enhance the production of more plantlet than solid but liable to contamination. These are the incubation conditions for the propagation of pineapple. Subculture of pineapple, dividing them into two halves of similar size. Each half is placed on a new MS medium supplemented with PAP and NAA but at lower concentration than the initiation medium. For proliferation, well developed shoots without roots are transferred to the same medium. Rooting of pineapple must be in MS medium with lower concentration of PAP. Relatively high concentration of NAA or IBA or a combination of both. Depending on the amount of auxin in the culture medium, root production takes around 4 to 8 weeks. 
acclimatization of pineapple. Firstly, rooted shoots are moved to the greenhouse or the plant barn. Secondly, gently remove plantlets from the culture vessel. Third, wash off any phytogel adhering to roots. Fourth, transfer to a loamy soil that has been amended with cow dung or coconut husk. 5. Water with MS solution. 6. To build a high humidity setting, cover it with a Watson module or a plastic cup. 7. Plastic cups are then removed. Field transfer. The plantlets that have been successfully weaned are transplanted to the field. Plantlets will thrive as good agronomic practice are followed. Next is advantage and disadvantage. For advantage, the new platelet can be grown in a short amount of time and the process is not dependent on the season and can be done throughout the years. Moreover, on the large scales, the tissue culture process can help to supply the consumer market with a new subspecies and varieties. And for disadvantage, this tissue culture can require more labor and cost more money. There is a chance that the propagate plant will be less resilient to the disease due to the type of environment they are growing. Lastly is conclusion. It has a comparative advantage over the traditional methods as it leads to the production of large number of disease-free uniform planting material in a red relatively shorter period independence of seasons. Perhaps the use of micropropagate pineapple plant as planting material will help to minimize the problem of natural flowering which is sporadic and rampant in pineapple cultivation.